Good evening, students, technicians, engineers, and teachers. For the last couple of years, I've worked as a teacher in what could be best described as a community college. It has been great, and one of the reasons for this has been the high quality content available on YouTube. And this is a short list of my international recommendations. Enjoy, and many thanks. And this is Master Milo, I think he's a Belgian. And he does all kinds of uh, interesting designs, so to say. And uh, he wrecks quite a lot of stuff in his uh, in his yard as well. And especially this one is great. And even though it's in Flemish, you can have the subtitles in English and then it works very well. So this is highly recommendable. And it is very relatable to most youth as well. Highly recommended. And this is Crash Course. And what I think is the major advantage with crash course is that they actually give you a crash course uh, it doesn't really go in depth and i would really recommend this course crash course computer science it is great for those who are interested in technology but are not studying for a computer science major it gives you the nuts and bolts though and you have some understanding of it and crash course offers a lot of other courses as well one in engineering which gives you an overview it might be good, however, my favorite is definitely the computer science. And this one is great. New Mind. They have high quality production videos and they show you all kinds of interesting stuff. And I'm quite proud to be a part of this one, Science of Flatness. In one of the shots, one of my machines are in view. And this makes me quite proud, to be honest. Yeah, and I really, really recommend New Mind. And I also highly recommend machine thinking, especially these two videos. They are great. It gives the students uh, a real big, th some, some food for thought on how, how the industrial world started, so to say. It uh, makes the abstract stuff less abstract. And I, I find it really, really good. And then we have stuff made here. The stuff made here, he makes stuff. And the really, really interesting part about this channel is that he combines so many di disciplines of engineering. And it seems like he's a really, really clever guy. And the students find his videos really enjoyable as well. Highly recommendable. And also highly recommended is the Hydraulic Press channel from Tampere in Finland. And he also has a separate channel beyond the press where he does stuff that doesn't really involve a hydraulic press. Uh, for example, seeing if 20 kilograms of red hot seal goes through a frozen lake. Sometimes it's a bit childish, but I think the gist of it is really, really good. And the students seem to enjoy it as well. Highly recommendable. And this is even more recommendable, this is the old educational videos. There is this uh, series, the BBC Engineering Craft Studies. And for somebody who goes to high school or community college, I would really recommend you to see the entire series. It's great. It's really, really, really good. It's a bit dated though, but it is so good that it's, well, you can't pass on it, so to say. And there are all of these compilation channels like Tantum Tech, Tech Freeze, Quantum Tech. They have all kinds of names and they have all kinds of videos. They aren't really, what do you call it, suitable to do. you watch during a lesson, but you could have it on the television in, in uh, for example, when they're having a break. And people seem to enjoy it quite a bit. Yeah, so that has been, it's also been quite great. And of course, don't forget that most companies nowadays has some kind of YouTube site and some of them make really, really good videos. The same thing for universities. So I would really recommend you to have a look around to see if there's something from any companies, perhaps close to you, which is really interesting. And one of the companies who makes really good videos is Haas. And they have this section Haas University. It is quite good. And I really, really like this film as well. How we build the VF1 today, because it really shows you how a milling machine is built. And this has been great for my students who studied mechanical engineering, especially, well, machining tools. 
And Misumi is also great, not just a comp not as a company, but also as someone who makes videos. It easily explains how different uh, components from a machine works and what to think of when you are picking components for a machine. And of course, they want you to buy Misumi stuff, but it's uh, the movies are great nevertheless. And this is also great, the US auto industry. They made training films back in the 30s. And there, there's not just movies from the 30s, it's from all the way into the 80s, I think, in US auto industry. But anyhow, the best ones, according to me, are the instructional films from the 30s. They are great. They use so many great analogies. It is easy for all of the students to understand exactly what's happening. I really recommend them, really do. And I will also give a, how the, a recommendation to Tarka. And Tarka, they make uh, films and how to machine stuff. And I find especially this one is great, and also this one. For me, it's a bit difficult because they don't use the metric system. But the concepts are there, and it has been great to look at Tarka's films. Highly recommendable. And then we have the Efficient Engineer, and they have some more theoretical movies, how machines are being used and uh, what happens within the material, especially when it comes to stresses and strains and such things. So it's highly recommendable. Uh, yeah, it simply is highly recommendable. And if somebody would like to to have some uh, high school physics, I could really recommend this channel, Integral Physics. It is quite small, but the way that the guy illustrates stuff is just great. Highly recommendable, and I hope this channel will grow a lot. And then we have Real Engineering. It's more of a documentary series. It's hard to combine within a lesson, but it's really nice just to watch someone. And they have all kinds of interesting films. And the same thing goes for Curious Droid. He makes really interesting films, especially when it comes to spacecrafts and such things. And they are a bit hard to fit into a lesson, but nevertheless, he makes great movies. And then we have Animagraphs. Animagraphs mainly make... Uh, well, animations. And um, from time to time they are technical and they seem to be really good because the animation quality is really, really good. Highly recommendable. And then we have this old Tony. And I especially like these two films. Because this, the upper one, really shows you the work for, workflow on how to design something. And also how he uses this master modeling type of uh, CAD usage, which is really recommendable. All students should at least once try master modeling, not just go from bottom up, but also try them from top down. And then we have Engineering Explained, which I think makes a really good job at en explaining engineering, especially when it comes to the calculation parts. Highly recommendable. And then we have Welt documentary. It's normal in German, but uh, they have some of the documentary also available in English. And they are also really hard to fit into a lesson, but they are documentaries for, for enjoyment, so to say. And I can highly recommend quite a lot of them, especially for people who don't really have a technical background. And then we have lunchbox sessions. And they mostly deal with pneumatics and hydraulics. I find that they make a really good job at explaining these concepts. Recommendable. And then we have Thomas Schwenke, who makes animations. And uh, it's most of the time technical stuff. Recommendable. And then we have this guy, Erik Granqvist. And he's more or less a local boy. And he decided to make some uh, log cabins. And, uh, well, that's what he did. He started when he was just 18, and it is really, really interesting to see what he did. 
not just from a technical st- standpoint, but also what it means to be self-reliant. And it's it could serve as, as a really good inspiration for young, uh, mostly young men then, of course. And then we have Titans of CNC, which is really, really American. Uh, but it could be quite enjoyable nonetheless, especially for the students who enjoy machining. And then we have Domain of Science. I think they made a really good job of explaining what kinds of physics, mathematics, sciences and engineering are they? Are there and how do they belong? How do they relate to each other? It gives the students an, a possibility to find themselves, so to say, within this spectrum. I recommend it. And then we have Big Car. He makes video essays about the development of, yeah, uh, of cars and models of cars. I find that he makes a really good job, enjoyable. And that's it on my list. I think there are lots of other good channels. And if somebody f- could think of something, they are more than welcome to post it down below. Many thanks.